Have you ever skipped breakfast just because you overslept and then told your friends you're on a diet? Well, you might be onto something there. Welcome to the world of intermittent fasting, or IF as the cool kids call it. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill diet fad, it's a lifestyle shift that's taking the world by storm. From Hollywood heartthrobs to fitness influencers, it seems everyone's jumping on the fasting bandwagon. And it's not just about skipping breakfast, oh no. There's the 16-8 method where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window. Or how about the 5-2 method, that's eating normally for 5 days and fasting for 2. Then there's alternate day fasting, which is pretty self-explanatory. So are they all just hungry for attention or is there some science behind this fasting fad? Let's dig in. Intermittent fasting, or as I like to call it, scheduled hunger pangs, is not a diet, but a pattern of eating. It's like setting an alarm clock, except instead of waking you up, it tells you when to eat and when to stop. It's the foodies version of musical chairs, where when the music stops, so does the eating. Now, there are several ways to play this game of gastronomical musical chairs. The first method is the 16-8 method. Sounds like a math problem, right? Fear not, because it's quite simple. This method involves fasting every day for 16 hours and restricting your eating to an 8-hour window. It's like giving your body a nightly mini-vacation from digestion. Next up, we have the 5-2 method. This one's like a weekly roller coaster for your stomach. For two days a week, you consume only about 500 to 600 calories, and for the other five days, you eat normally. It's like your stomach's version of a weekend getaway. Lastly, we have alternate day fasting. This method is exactly as it sounds. You fast every other day your eating schedule into a game of foodie hopscotch. It's basically a timetable for your stomach and you thought school timetables were a headache. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fun and informative content. Ever wondered what happens when you fast? No, your stomach doesn't start eating itself, although it might feel like it. Let's take a journey into the body during a fast. Picture yourself as a tiny explorer diving into the inner workings of your body. Here's what you would see. When you stop eating, your body goes into a state of fasting. It's like your body's version of switching from regular television to Netflix. You're no longer getting a constant stream of energy from food, so your body switches over to its stored reserves. This is when the magic happens. In the first 8 to 12 hours, your body burns through the glucose stored in your liver. Glucose, our body's main source of energy, is like the body's cash on hand. It's easily accessible and quickly spent. But once that's gone, your body needs to dip into its savings account, which is stored fat. This is where metabolic adaptations come into play. Your body becomes more insulin sensitive, which is a good thing. Insulin is like a key that lets glucose into your cells. When you're more sensitive to insulin, you need less of it to do the job which is healthier for your body. Meanwhile, your body starts to produce ketones, substances made when the body breaks down fat for energy. Think of ketones as a super efficient fuel that your body creates from your fat stores. They're like your body's secret weapon for energy. Now here's the clincher. Your body actually prefers burning fat over glucose. It's like preferring to use renewable energy over fossil fuels. It's more sustainable, and it's better for the environment, or in this case, your body. But it's not just about burning fat. Fasting triggers a process called autophagy, where your cells start cleaning out damaged components. It's like your body's spring cleaning, except it can happen anytime you fast. So fasting is like a system reboot for your body. Cuddle plus alt plus del, anyone? Fasting is more than just weight loss, it's like a spa day for your cells. Now imagine this. Your cells, lounging in their microscopic bathrobes and cucumber slices, sipping on some antioxidant-rich green tea. Sounds relaxing, right? But instead of a mud mask and a pedicure, they're going through a process called autophagy. This fancy word autophagy comes from the Greek words for self and eating. No, your cells aren't practicing cannibalism. They're tidying up. During autophagy, your cells break down and recycle their own damaged components. It's like a spring cleaning, but on a microscopic level. But why is this important? Well, this process is believed to play a crucial role in maintaining the health of cells and, by extension, the health of the body. It's a kind of cellular quality control, if you will. Autophagy helps to eliminate damaged proteins and organelles, reducing the risk of diseases like cancer and neurodegeneration. Moreover, studies suggest that autophagy contributes to longevity. By keeping cells in tip-top shape, autophagy might slow down the aging process. Imagine your cells after a round of autophagy, feeling fresh and rejuvenated, like they've just stepped out of a rejuvenating cellular sauna. 
So the next time you feel those hunger pangs during your fasting window, remind yourself that you're not starving. You're simply kicking off a spa day for your cells, inviting them to relax and rejuvenate. And who knew doing nothing could be so productive? Fasting also triggers a hormonal hoedown in your body. Yes, you heard it right. When you fast, it's not just a belly ballet happening, it's an all-out physiological party with hormones dancing their way around your body, doing the jitterbug and the twist. This hoedown is led by insulin and growth hormone, two key metabolic maestros. You see, insulin is like the party pooper telling your cells to store glucose and fat. But when you're fasting, insulin levels drop, and it's like someone turned down the lights and cranked up the music. Your cells start breaking down those stored fats and sugars, effectively turning them into fuel for your body's dance floor. Meanwhile, the growth hormone, our other dance leader, steps into the spotlight. This hormone helps maintain muscle mass and boosts fat burning. When you're fasting, it's like the growth hormone has been handed the DJ controls. Its levels skyrocket, sometimes by as much as fivefold. And let's not forget our other hormonal guests. Glucagon, leptin, ghrelin, they all have their specific dance moves that contribute to this metabolic jamboree. They play essential roles in maintaining blood sugar levels, regulating hunger, and promoting fat breakdown. In essence, intermittent fasting orchestrates a hormonal symphony that helps your body use its stored fat for energy, retain muscle mass, and optimize metabolic health. So fasting is like a hormonal roller coaster without the scary bits. Now the part you've all been waiting for, how fasting helps you lose weight. You see, when you're fasting, your body is like a clever little energy engineer. It first uses up the glucose stored in your liver. But when those reserves start to run low, it switches gears and starts burning fat for fuel. Imagine your body as a hybrid car switching from petrol to electric power when the gas tank runs low. That's your body on intermittent fasting. Now here's where the magic happens. When your fat cells are broken down, they release fatty acids. These fatty acids are then converted into molecules called ketones in a process known as ketogenesis. It's like your body's own little chemistry lab, turning fat into fuel. And let's not forget about the hormone insulin. When you eat, your insulin levels increase in order to process the glucose in your bloodstream. But when you're fasting, insulin levels drop, and lower insulin levels facilitate fat burning. So with intermittent fasting, your insulin gets a much-needed break and your fat cells get a pink slip. But remember, it's not just about burning fat, it's about adopting a lifestyle that helps your body function at its best. It's about giving your body the time it needs to rest, repair, and rejuvenate. So, fasting is like a breakup letter to your fat cells. It's your body saying, it's not me, it's you. I think it's time we see other fuels. But weight loss isn't the only perk of fasting. Let's think bigger, beyond the scale. Intermittent fasting can rev up your heart health, helping to keep that ticker ticking smoothly. It's like a heart-healthy tune-up. And let's not forget about the brain. Fasting can potentially sharpen your cognitive skills, making you a quick-thinking whiz. It's like your brain gets a supercharge. So, intermittent fasting isn't just about shedding pounds, it's a holistic approach to health. It's like a health bonus package. But remember, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Like any dietary strategy, intermittent fasting comes with its own set of challenges. Sticking to the plan and managing individual variations can be tricky. So fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Phew! That was a lot to digest, pun intended. We've sailed through the science of fasting, from cellular spa days to hormonal hoedowns, from fat's farewell to benefits beyond the scale. Remember, your body is unique, so listen to it. Don't forget to share your fasting fables in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video valuable and enlightening, do us a favor and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to continue exploring this fascinating journey with us. We can't wait to share more insights with you.